the material. So here is the present money and future money, not the same because of the interest rate of bank. And then a simple case of calculating the engineering economics is a crude oil carrier. Crude oil is uh, oil that is just coming from the oil reservoir. That is very bad situation very black and dirty and very sticky, but they should be carried to the refinery where they separate out into different uh, categories of oils, including gasoline and bunker C and other things, or coal tar. So anyway, the ship is carrying the crude oil from the reservoir something like a Saudi Arabia, Kuwait, towards uh, Korea, right? So they are expecting transportation between Persian Gulf and Busan port of Korea. That is a situation, assume the situation. But it is not easy to predict future freight rate. Freight rate is a fair amount they pay to the ship. If you want to carry, say, 100 tons of crude oil from the Saudi Arabia to the Busan, how much money should uh, it pay to for? But there is a big fluctuation of uh, uh, shipping cost. That is the history. Right? Fluctuation means up and down, very stiff, say 10 times higher, 10 times lower, depending on the situation, economic situation. So it's not easy, very difficult prediction. A better measure is, another way is minimum cost, not the price. Do you know the difference between cost and price? Say I go to a restaurant this lunch time, I pay 10,000 won to buy my food as a lunch. But that is the price right? I paid for that my lunch. But cost is the uh, basic money they use by the owner of the, the restaurant. They buy rice, they buy uh, other ingredients, and they also pay money to the employer there and, and cooking person, and also the housing itself. So altogether, they make total cost and then divide into how many dishes they sell. So that is the cost, the bare money to provide their service. But price is fluctuating depending on the situation. Right? Especially the shipping cost is very fluctuative. Something much more than stock uh, pricing or, or say, gold price or nowadays, what is the money? The cyber money? I cannot remember the name. Bitcoin, Bitcoin. Bitcoin, right. Bitcoin is very fluctuating, right? And similar, similarly, the freight rate of shipping is very fluctuating. Very interesting market there. So instead they calculate uh, uh, cost in this way, the required freight rate as a designer. You are the designer of the ship. The minimum cost I should uh, pay for the operating the ship between Parisian Gulf and Busan to carry 100,000 tons. And then the way is uh, AAC, AAC is average annual cost. All of them say as a restaurant owner, I should calculate uh, yearly cost to operate the restaurant. The purchasing the foods, uh, so, uh, sources and the employer uh, wage and then the place, the building rent, rental and electricity, energy, other things, tax and all together by dividing them. And annually I can calculate somehow based on say last year or two years ago, three years ago, uh, inflation, 
total money, and then divide by the how many dishes I sell for the whole year average. Then we can calculate the uh, minimum cost I should get from the uh, lunch service. That is the, we can say, required flight rate. So as a designer, that can be the minimum required flight rate is the best, uh, one of the best uh, design I can do or provide. Because the real price is too much fluctuation. So implication, do you have any question? The best ship in any given trade, the Gulf of Mexico, is the one that can offer minimum cost while still producing reasonable profit. Then in addition to required freight rate, I may put some extra money as my profit. Okay. So this is a Baltic dry index. That is a Baltic is the name of the sea near Sweden. Baltic Sea is a small sea near Sweden, in front of Sweden, or Scandinavian area. And dry means a dry cargo. Dry cargo means uh, not wet cargo. Right? Wet cargo is oil. Dry cargo may be in, uh, mostly uh, bulk carrier. Right. So index is some kind of index for stock market. Very similar, but different way to calculate. But I'm showing you the fluctuation here. Very big fluctuation. Something like a 17 times when it's higher and the lowest during the year 85 to up to 2015. So it is about say 30 years of period and maximum and minimum change is 17 times. You may expect that the lunch cost for myself near my restaurant during the 30 years, how much was the fluctuation? Maybe less than two times. Right? And how about all your uh, car price or, or building price is a little bit more fluctuation than car price. Apartment price, right? Or smartphone price. But comparing to those other uh, market or product, this shipping market is very flexible, very fluctuating. So it, that is very interesting. Okay. Right. And so economic criteria, there are more than required freight rate. In this table, the last item is a required flight rate I just show you, but the other then above them is AAC, it is another one, average annual cost. It is annual cost, but it can be calculated into life cycle cost, total, say 20 years, that it, it may, may be the, how many years you can operate. Let me say in this way, uh, how many of you have your car? Only one? How many of you have uh, your car? Two, one. Well, if you think about the cost of uh, owning or uh, purchasing my car and also uh, operating cost of the whole life of my car and comparison, you never think about this. Say purchasing in Korea, new car may cost say, how many? $20,000 or $30,000 something, right? Let's say $30,000 to buy a new car, small new car. Right? And then operating cost. Usually operating cost is the biggest one should be the gasoline or diesel, oil, and then insurance and tax and maintenance, right? So let's say uh, fuel cost. For me, I filling my car say once a week, about uh, 50,000 one. That means 
per week, and then 50 weeks per year, that is $2,500 per year, right? Is it right, my calculation? Right, 50 by 50, right, right, right. Then my purchasing price was a, uh, how many? Thirty thousand dollar, right? Thirty thousand. And then only fair cost. Ten years, it is already twenty-five thousand dollar. And in addition to there is insurance, there is uh, maintenance, and and others, more others. Right? So after ten years, the purchasing and operating cost is almost same. Right. So how about 20 years? So the life cycle cost is different. Let's go on to nuclear power plant. How many years they operate? It operate about 50 years, 50 years. Building, 20 years, 30 years. Airplane, right. So there are different time scales. And then let's go on to discount cash flow. This is a cash flow. They, I uh, earn money by operating my taxi or uh, operating my restaurant. But one year, two years, three years, then we can calculate that discounted cash flow means uh, future money is different from current money, present money. So that future money should be discounted to the present money to, to compare which one is better. And net present value is uh, net money, income, return on investment can be calculated. The problem here is right hand side, the necessary input there, the annual revenue, it should be available, the, the numbers for the net present value and discount cash flow can be calculated. But usually it is not easy, especially in shipping company, the fluctuation is very high, 17 times. We cannot expect correctly. That's why usually they go on to the other ways of RFR. So it depending on a situation. If you are a Navy officer or commander to build your battleship, there is no revenue, right? And no uh, fluctuation. So in this case, you usually go on to life cycle cost calculation to decision, to make a decision, depend on uh, which one to choose among different uh, design solutions and construction solutions. So CAPEX and OPEX is important uh, terminology there. It's the capital expenditure and operational expenditure. So let's return back to my situation of uh, purchasing my car. New car, I just say the $30,000 to purchase new one. And yearly gasoline cost is about 2,500. So that uh, CAPEX can be something like $30,000 and OPEX is about $2,500. But it's depending on the how many years. Okay? OPEX is yearly, one year, but CAPEX is different. So if you say that if I uh, loan the money of uh, purchasing of cars, $30,000 I borrowed from the bank. And then I promise them I pay back the whole money monthly as uh, until 10 years, something like that, or 20 years. Then you can calculate comparison of CAPEX and OPEX is the same uh, basement. In this way, you can calculate uh, engineering economics by the way. All right, that's enough for today. Or how, right. Oh, summary. Oh, there is more. Oh, let, me, let me finish up this slide and then finish today's. So design decision should be based on both science and, and also art. Science means uh, performance or economy, or I don't know what is the best solution to you. As a, as a Navy commander, as a 
government officer or as a company company owner of a shipping company or as a person as to build my home what can be your calculation what is the your goal it, it, there should be a different and then art art is a very subject to judgment experience right i want to buy uh, my house i want to buy my car i want to build my sweet home fashion hair design depending on what you are trying to do is there are different uh, science and art is or subject to assessment is different okay. your food people has different taste so that the subjective judgment is different but we can use our statistics to value them some way some way so important to understand how economics can be used to help make good decision in ship design not only economics but economics plays a important role here right. money uh, uh, always think about all the money can be borrowed from the bank as your as your uh, company owner you don't need to have a you cannot have a big money let's say it's a billion dollar to to operate a cruise ship so most of the money should be borrowed from the bank then you need to have a very complicated calculations of economics so decisions how to use that money a borrowed money all right that's enough for today question no All right, then see you next week, right? Next week. And Perkett, I will send you file for next week through the email to you, probably this tonight. Oh, okay. All right. Thank you. Bye now. So, make a class uh, 관련해서 잠깐 공지하겠습니다. Uh, so, everyone, instead of like setting up the schedule, Right now, I will make a Google Sheet and share it to you by Kakao Talk. So you can click on the link and just check your schedule and you know, paint those cells that you're not available by today. That's it. Yeah, thank you very much. See you next time.